Prim's algorithm is a simple enough algorithm to apply, but you do have to be very careful while you're doing it. The main difficulty is in making sure that you've included all edges in your thoughts about which one to next include in the minimum spanning tree. In this video, I will highlight which edges I'm considering at any stage, but if you're doing it by hand on paper, you do need to be very, very careful. So we'll start with an exact copy of all of the vertices. Now the beginning of the algorithm says that we can choose any vertex. I'm going to choose vertex D. I consider all edges that are coming out of it, and I choose the one of minimum weight. In this case, it is of course 5, going from D to E. So I'll include that in my minimum spanning tree. For all future stages, I don't need to consider this edge anymore, so I'm going to get rid of the red highlighting on the diagram on the left. In my minimum spanning tree, I've now included vertex E. So I need to consider all edges coming from that one as well. All edges on the diagram on the left are the ones that I'm considering. They are all edges that connect with the vertices currently in my minimum spanning tree. I choose the one of minimum weight, which in this case is the vertex going from E to H of weight 3. I now don't need to consider that edge, but I have of course added H to my minimum spanning tree, and so I need to consider that one. This adds the edge from G to H, but it also removes the edge from D to H. I don't need to consider that one anymore because D is part of my minimum spanning tree. Again, in red are all the ones I need to consider. These are the edges from the vertices that I currently have in my minimum spanning tree that don't connect vertices I've already got. Here, 4 is the minimum weight, so I'm going to include that one from C to E. This adds the vertex C to those that I must think about, and it adds the edge from B to C. The edge of minimum weight now is 12, so I add that one. This adds the vertex G, and it adds three more edges. The minimum weight edge now is 6, going from F to G, and I've added the vertex F. I now don't need to consider the edge from D to F either. The minimum weight edge now is 8, going from B to G. This adds the vertex B, adds the edge from A to B, and I also now don't need to consider the edge going from B to C. Minimum weight 1 now is of course 4. I add that in, and this has added the last vertex to my diagram. So we have the minimum spanning tree. Now on this video it's easy for me to highlight the ones that I'm thinking of, but when you are doing it by hand on a piece of paper, you need to be very, very careful to make sure that you are thinking about all possible edges that are valid at any stage in the algorithm. I wish you good luck with it, just take it carefully, consider all of the parts in turn, and you should be okay. But that's all there is for Prim's algorithm.